formula is derived as see if you take a cone and a cylinder of the same base and same height uh, the volume of the cone is one third the volume of the cylinder so the, that is why the volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h now we'll go to combinations huh? where there is Where is this combination of uh, cylinder and cone? Ah, here. It's a combination of cylinder and cone. Oh. So, now look here. This cylinder and cone. Again, uh, if you have to talk about all these areas. Uh, here, uh, we are taking the total area of this solid. So, now since it's like this, uh, we can say that it is standing on the ground, isn't it? So, if you want the area, we'll be taking the CSA. CSA of this and CSA of the cylinder. What is CSA? Surface area. So, we will be total area of this uh, solid is uh, curve surface area of the cone plus curve surface, surface area, area of the cylinder. cylinder. So, you learned how to find the CSA. You have learned the formulas, isn't it? Yes. How to find the CSA of the cone, cone and how to find the CSA of the cylinder. cylinder. So, now you will have to take the measures and uh, find out, take out the measures and then calculate the CSA, total uh, surface. We say total surface area of the solid, that uh, total surface area, we are actually finding only the CSA of the cone and the CSA of the cylinder. Then coming to the volume, of course, we are calculating the volume of the cone plus volume of the cylinder. Both you have to calculate and add up, which will give you the total volume of this solid. Okay, so now first what you have to do is, you measure the slant height. Slant height you can take from here, isn't it? Yes. Then one more thing. We, we can get the slant height and we can get the radius of this uh, cone as well as cone and uh, cylinder. They have the same uh, circumference, isn't it? So we can calculate the radius and the slant height uh, from here by measuring. H we will have to calculate using the Pythagoras property. Right triangle property. What is it? Hypotenuse is equal to a square plus altitude. Okay, now to start with you do one thing. You find the, the measure this land height, also measure this vertical height of the cylinder, then take the circumference of this, this portion. 67. Now one of your record. What centimeters? Are you yes, taking in centimeters? Yes, Then what about the vertical the height of the cylinder? Height of the cylinder? 90 90 that also you recorded. Now you find out the circumference. From there you can calculate the radius. Is it not? numbers can you explain more about that what do you think this different type of numbers what all numbers do you know okay okay wait 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 now you said rational numbers and irrational numbers okay now let's come to rational numbers huh? in uh, rational numbers what all number systems do we have 
Now see, this is a number tree. Do you see this? Yes, yes. ma'am. This number tree, can you identify in our campus anywhere? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma this tree, isn't it? Yes. This tree is being uh, projected as a number tree. Yes. Yes? yes? So in number tree, you see how they have interpreted the number system in uh, through this tree. It's a beautiful tree in our campus. And uh, see how the numbers are being um, interpreted through this tree of ours. Okay. Now, basically, you have learned about uh, natural numbers, then whole numbers, then integers. So, when integers come, you have positive integers and negative integers, integers and zero in the middle. Then goes positive and negative. negative. Then um, that comes under the rational number system. So, what is rational number system? It has got what type of numbers? Both positive, both positive and negative, and negative numbers. What? Negative, positive? Fractional numbers, isn't it? Their numbers are of the form P by Q. Q. Yes. So, rational number system has got integers in it. Now, uh, and uh, there's one more number system called as the irrational number system. Okay. Irrational number system. Both these numbers, rational numbers and irrational numbers, together form what? Real numbers. numbers. They form real numbers. numbers. So, this is our number tree. In our school, we have uh, taken one tree as our number tree to learn about the numbers. Have you, can you draw this tree now? Yes. Can you draw this number tree and show all those number systems? Yes. yes. Please sit down and do that. Can you sit? Yes, yes, you can sit. Wherever you are, you are comfortable, you sit there. Observe the tree and draw these the system in the num number num num number system you draw. 